students, today the video is to answer a question that came under this video, which is the cubic sequence finding the n term formula. Now let me start with the explanation. The question was, why did I use uh, these four formulas here? a plus b plus c plus d equals the first term. 7a plus 3b plus c equals the first term of the first difference. Uh, 12a plus 2b equals 16, which is the first term of the second difference. And uh, 6a is the third difference. So why did I use these equations and how did I get them? So in this video, you're going to see how did I make or how did I get this four uh, formula to use to find the n term rule for the given sequence. Here the proof begins with the general form of a cubic sequence which is a n cube plus b n square plus c n plus d. Let us assume that u1, u2, u3, u4 and u5 are the terms of a cubic sequence. Then when n is equal to 1, we get the first term by substituting n equals 1 into the general formula of a n cube plus b n square plus c n plus d. My u1, which is the first term here, is going to be a plus b plus c plus d because n takes the value 1. Second term, when n equals 2, so this is when n equals 2, I'm going to find u2 by substituting the value for n equals 2 into this equation and I get u2 is equal to 8a plus 4b plus 2c plus d. Similarly, I can find the third and fourth term. My third term will be n equals 3 and my equation will be a times 3q plus b times 3 square plus 3 times c plus d. So u3 here is going to be 27a plus 9b plus 3c plus d. Now how can you find the fourth term? u4 when n equals 4. u4 is going to be a 4 to the power 3 plus b 4 squared plus c 4 plus d. So this is how you have to substitute and you get the fourth term as 64a plus 16b plus 4c plus d. So now I have found uh, the first four terms here, u1, u2, u3 and u4 in terms of a, b, c and d. Just take note of this because I'll be going to the next window and I'll be using these expressions to find the further solution. Now my cubic sequence u1, u2, u3, u4 and u5 in terms of a, b, c, d can be written as the first term is a plus b plus c plus d. The second term is 8a plus 4b plus 2c plus d. The third term is 27a plus 9b plus 3c plus d. The fourth term is 64a plus 16b plus 4c plus d. And I have also found the fifth term by just replacing n equals 5 into the uh, general form. And I got 125a plus 25b plus 5c plus d. Now I'm going to find the first difference. Now you know the first difference is given by u2 minus u1. So let's find that u2 minus u1 is going to be, I have u2 here, 8a plus 4b plus 2c plus d minus I have u1 which is a plus b plus c plus d. So the difference here since you have a negative all these terms get a negative sign so this is how you can write the terms Combining the like terms, I have 8a minus a giving me 7a. I have 4b minus b giving me plus 3b. I have plus 2c minus c giving me a c. 
it's a plus d and a minus d so they just turn out to be zero so this is my first term in the first different sequence which i'm going to create so let me write that here 7a plus 3b plus c okay, this is u2 minus u1 here it's going to be u3 minus u2 so let me just write that here u2 u3 minus u2 which is 27a uh, plus 9b plus 3c plus d minus now i'm going to write it straight away because you know it's minus with all these terms so the sign changes it becomes negative so i'm just writing it directly i hope you understand that now here i have 27a minus 8a giving me 19a 9b minus 4b giving me plus 5 3c minus 2c so c again the d and d gets uh, cancelled at zero so my second term in the first difference uh, sequence is going to be 19a plus 5b plus c. Now use the same method to find uh, the next term here which is u4 minus u3. You have 64a minus 27a and uh, you have 16b minus 9b and 4c minus 3c and d minus d. So just I'll be filling these two terms here. So you have 37a plus 7b plus c here and u5 minus u4 is going to give you 61a plus 9b plus c. So you have the sequence for the first difference. Now let me find the second difference. Now, to find the second difference, I'm going to subtract these two terms. Again, the second term, it's 19a plus 5b plus c minus 7a plus 3b plus c. So, it's going to be 19a minus 7a plus 5b. I'm just combining the like terms to get to simplify the answer. I have plus C and minus C. So my answer here is going to be 12A plus 2B. So let me write it here. For the next term, which is the second term in the second difference sequence, I have 37A plus 7B plus C minus 19a minus c okay so this is going to be 18a plus 2b you have the c's cancel out the plus c and the minus c so i have 18a plus 2b now i'll find the third term in the second difference sequence so again let me subtract them 61a plus 9b plus c minus i have 37a plus 7b plus c which is equal to 61a minus i have 37a plus 9b minus 7b and you have plus c minus c your answer will be 24e plus 2b now for a cubic sequence we know that the third difference should be a constant term so let's see if that's true I'll subtract the second term and the first term in the second difference sequence. So I have 18a plus 2b 
minus 12a plus 2b. So this is going to be 18a plus 2b minus 12a minus 2b, which is equal to 18a. Let me combine the like terms here. 18 minus 12 gives me 6a. I have a plus 2b and a minus 2b, so it's going to be 0. So I get a 6a as the first term in my third difference. Let us try to get the difference between these terms here. You have 24a plus 2b minus 18a plus 2b. It's going to be 24a, this is going to be minus 18a plus 2b and minus 2b. So 24 minus 18, it's going to be 6a and it's a 0. So again I get a 6a. And it is based on this proof that I have used the four expressions for the first term, the first term and the first difference, second difference and the third difference in my video uh, to find the expression of a cubic sequence by finding the value of a, b, c and d uh, by equating to the first terms of the sequence that you generated. So I hope that part is clarified. Uh, thank you for watching my videos.